Okay. All right, let's try that again. And uh, so that's muted. Okay, so you know the sharing screen thing? Do you know how to do it on that? Yeah, okay. Sorry, I just don't know how to help you. Okay, hopefully we can get people back here. All right. <laughs> five. Can <laughs> All right, can anybody hear me? <laughs> if not, I don't know what to do today. Goodness gracious. Sounds great. Okay, good. Whew. All right, so we're going to give it a couple minutes to let everybody come back on and uh, for me to have a humongous slurp of this drink. <laughs> okay, good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so um, Savannah, Savannah's used to working with a, uh, a Mac. And so she's been bringing her Mac in so that she didn't have to use my uh, laptop because she's not really sure about my laptop. But there's something in it that is causing us to lose our sound and we don't know what it is. And um, Cause it works sometimes, but not every time. Yeah, not every time. So um, anyway, so thank you all for, pardon me, for um, having the patience to deal with all this, you know, because now we're what, 15 minutes in and I haven't even started my tutorial. So, <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, I'm glad. Hey, Kristen, I was just thinking about you the other day because I had my um, my water thing and I was like, oh, hey, I wonder how Kristen's doing. Um, yes, that is a, a, a Appleton's rum and diet Pepsi that I'm going to be drinking uh, probably the entire thing. I usually drink about this much, like half an inch during my lives. I'm probably going to suck this whole thing back because that was a little bit of stress. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This is crazy. Oh, I, you know what? It, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just, I'm really grateful to have Savannah here today because um, you never know what's going to happen. Right. So um, we had almost 300 people watching though. So I really hope that everybody uh, comes back. Diane, yes, we still have, um, I think there was about 23 or something like that last time I looked. So you'll be able to get those. Um, yes, Catherine, burp. <laughs> I will probably be burping by the end of this. So, oh, hello from France. Yeah, um, audio is much better. Okay, so it was worth um, losing everybody and then coming back. I hate doing that because we had almost 300 people watching and everybody's probably like, where, where'd she go? So hopefully somebody on the great beat extravaganza behind the scenes is uh, redirecting everybody to me because I noticed a lot of people were going, Oh, I, we can't hear you. So, um, you know, anyway, uh, hello from Arkansas. I think, is that where my dad lives? Arkansas? No, uh, or is he in Alabama? I don't know. Where's Fort Smith? Is that Alabama or is that Arkansas? I think that's Arkansas. I don't know my dad. <laughs> I just know he lives somewhere down there. Did you guys notice that I'm, I'm, I'm all fancy? Look at, I even have like a fancy necklace. Look at that beautiful necklace I made. The buttons all turned around. I have a really beautiful knotted um, pearl necklace on. <laughs> oh, and we got people from Dallas and from Montreal and Connecticut and Arkansas. That's where that's from. Okay, well, see, I guess that's where he lives then, so... All right. Well, um, thank you for joining the, uh, you know, crazy shenanigans that always go on with our lives because we never know what's going to happen. That's part of being live, I suppose. Right. So what I was saying before when nobody could hear me was that, um, right, it would not be a TGB without me having difficulties. It just seems to uh, be me. And also Mercury is in retrograde, apparently. So I'm Kelly from Kelly's Bee Boutique. If you don't know who this crazy babbling broad is. And behind the scenes, I have uh, my sidekick, Savannah. She doesn't want to be on the screen today. <laughs> so she'll be back there. You may hear her. Um, she will be uh, reading out comments if I need to hear them because it's hard to uh, look down and look up at the same time. So, um, oh, thank you, Kristen. I appreciate that. I do try to, you know, get lots of good uh, large hole beads in, in stock. So, um, all righty. So a couple things. So if you could fire up the uh, GBE Spring thing. And do you have the other thing made? The, um... I just didn't. Okay. So um, just the, yeah. So we have a, a sale going on until uh, Monday midnight uh, on our website. You just go to www.kellysbeeboutique.com. You can run that underneath it, I think, too. Um, and just use the code GBE Spring, and you can save 20% off your entire order 
we uh, do have a couple, um, you know, things that aren't valid, which uh, one is the kits, because my staff would leave me. And <laughs> mm-hmm. it's true. It's true. <laughs> they don't like that because then we get thousands of orders for kits and we're like, Ooh. <laughs> And uh, now also um, tools because of the pricing on the shipping, which is just ridiculous. And uh, of course, on our clearance section. So uh, you can save yourself 20% on everything else. So we've been had lots of people shopping. So shop away and have fun. Um, yeah, I'm glad that uh, Lynetta, that the sound is a little bit better. So I'm really, um, I'm really sorry that all that kind of happened. If you do place an order, please put GBE in the uh, comment box of the order there's like a little place where you can leave me a comment and tell me how fabulous i am um <laughs> but you can just also write that you uh like just put gbe or that you watched me or whatever and we're going to do a draw for a gift certificate um for everybody that has placed an order and uh, also make sure that i'm sure you've heard this uh over and over and over again today that um We've all donated, uh, you know, uh, prizes that uh, Candy puts into a lovely big basket or whatever, and uh, she will send that out after they draw somebody for it. And um, so all you do is you're trading your email address for uh, a chance to enter into that. So make sure that you enter into that drawing because there's some good stuff. Like most of us send some pretty good things. So um, I think you would probably uh, enjoy winning that because I know I would. And uh, I think that's about it. So we're going to do a draw. So if you guys want to type in. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on so set it up first. Okay. <laughs> so. It okay. Doesn't... We uh, we have to wait a second so that the, the hired help can this... catch up. <laughs> okay. Okay. So just type in GBE. So it's still, it's still showing that um, as the background. I know. I know. We don't. I don't know. We're having such crazy tech. So you want to take all the other things off there that are scrolling by? I can't get out of this. What do you mean you can't get out of it? Um, you can do it on there though. I can't get out of anything. Oh, sorry. Okay, so yeah, type in GBE and uh, we'll do a drawing for a gift. I think I'm going to do a gift certificate. So we'll let it catch up for a minute. Good thing my um, my project isn't going to take a long time today. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you what do you want? My arm? You want brand? Yes, yeah, so we can get rid of those scrolly things. Um, where are they? Oh, no, they'll be on banners. Huh? Banners? Oh. Yeah, just click them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All the technical difficulties. All right. I need to have back my comments now, though. Okay. We're getting there. Um, where do you enter email for, for the prize? Uh, for the big prize, um, there so there is something on the front of the um, uh, Facebook page, I believe. The best thing that you can do to help yourself out this weekend is uh, Kate um, Richberg did a beautiful video this morning that explains how to do everything. Um, so you can always go on there, and she will. Uh, she's showing everybody how to find it. But I do believe if you go onto the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook page, there is an entry placed on there. Okay, so how many people do we have on there so 85. far? 85. All right. Um, oh, <laughs> well, you know, everybody's doing uh, barrel knots now, Rosemary. <laughs> Everybody seems to be doing them. I created, I created a monster with my um, barrel knots, I guess, right? All right, so we're going to uh, probably pull this in. Oh, yeah. So the other thing is um, make sure. Thank you, Melanie, for that reminder. So if you are an American and watching me, you want to make sure that you uh, know that you can save some extra money just when you place your order. Uh, we have exchange rates here in Canada because I am a Canadian company. So we you will save somewhere around 30 percent, 35 percent. It just depends on what your bank gives you because it's not what we give you. It is um, the. Uh, uh, the bank, the, the exchange rate. So whatever you order from us, you will save 20% and then you'll save somewhere around 30% from your bank too. So those are some pretty considerable savings if you live in the United States. So that's a nice little perk for my American viewers. Sorry, Canva. Um, Pam, I don't understand what you mean. Um, I'll just, so the entries for GBE, they're just, it's, it's done on our StreamYard here. So anything that people put in on StreamYard were, are uh, being entered. So 
All right. I think we're going to draw that now. So to a hundred. We need two more. Two more people. Yeah. All right. So two more people enter, and then we will get to. Well, we lost over a hundred viewers when I had to deep six this. That really stinks. I'm. I really feel bad that we lost so many people. Okay, we're but, at hundred. All right. So let's draw this and see who's going to get a, a gift certificate. Yeah. All right. Fingers crossed. Sharon Ellison Gladden, you've won a gift certificate. So if you just want to drop an email to customer service at kellysbeadboutique.com and um, I will converse with you and uh, make sure that you get your uh, gift card, okay? Or a gift certificate. All right, can you get me back or do I have to put no, myself back? Okay. All right, so thank you for playing along with that and congratulations to Sharon. And um, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to switch me down now and let's get this project started, okay? okay? Here we go. Okay, there we go. Finally, after all this hoo-ha today, we're, what are we in now, like uh, 22 minutes and we haven't even started the project. So, okay, so today we are going to be making my Harmony bracelet. And uh, so I've got, uh, there's like 22 parts in this, um, in this bracelet uh, but I think it's just really fun to put together now I have to uh, be honest and uh, <laughs> I picked it up last night and I looked at it and I went I don't remember how I made this so you know I'm going to sort of make it up as I go along <laughs> but I think it's one of those bracelets that you can you know really um, make your own so all right so for our tools today we're just going to be using um, some chain nose pliers and a pair of bent chain nose pliers and a pair of cutters and of course we are going to be using a barrel knot tube and we may use uh, some tweezers, but I'm going to, cause we're gonna be doing some knotting. We're doing a little bit of everything in here. Um, so, uh, but I, I'm gonna do a cheater's way of knotting today just to make life easy. Cause I know not everybody has these. Uh, we're also gonna be using a thread zapper. And if you don't happen to have a thread zapper, so I think we have some in stock, but I think there might only be like four or five of them at the moment, but you can always use some glue, like some GS Hypo. And we may use a ruler. And as far as our um, kit goes, we've got, uh, I can't remember how many inches that is. It's about 10 inches of 1.5 millimeter leather. And then I have some um, Eslon and that is, I don't know, I can't remember what we've got here, maybe like 20, 20 inches of Eslon. And we have two pieces of chain that are um, same color, just a little different style. And I have a closed jump ring and a uh, lobster clasp. And then we have three little charms. And then I have some small jump rings. And then we have an assortment of beads. So I have a, a gold tiger's eye, some uh, check glass. So these are all check glass beads. And then I've got some um, chair cast spacers and then some um, rhinestone spacers, some eight aught uh, Mayuki seed beads. I've got an O bead. I think we put two in the kit in case you um, you have a kitten and it flings one onto the carpet because <laughs> that happens all the time. I have a little magnesite um, disc bead here and some Chinese crystal and then some two aught uh, large hole check glass beads. So that's a lot of stuff in this um, in this kit. So, oh, we have two threads. Thank you very much, Savannah, for saying that. <laughs> you what you checked? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. On the website, you hmm. two All right. So they're kind of cool. If you do happen to buy uh, a thread zapper, if you have a thread zapper and you find that it doesn't work, uh, use fresh, brand new, out of the box batteries. Often people will say, "Oh, my thread zap doesn't work," and I just got it. And it is almost one hundred percent of the time. Um, your batteries. Also, you can replace this little uh, thing on the end because sometimes it will get kind of messed up after years of um, using it, but there's not much that can go wrong in this. So these will, I think mine's probably 20 years old, so they last forever. Thanks, Abby. I appreciate you watching today. Hopefully you uh, didn't watch the debacle at the beginning. So, <laughs> oh goodness. All right, so let's get started and see if I can remember what in the heck I did on this. So I'm just going to take my two ends of my uh, S long cording and I'm going to find the middle and I'm going to take my closed ring. Now I like to use closed rings versus jump rings on things that I want to have a little bit of stability to them because closed, closed rings won't open up and I want to be using, whoops, almost lost that. I want to be using this as part of my clasp today. 
So I just need to get that through. Now we're just going to do a lark's head. So all I'm going to do is open that up and then just pull this through. Okay, so I just do that. And then it did nothing. Because <laughs> I had it going the wrong way. Oh boy, watch Kelly because she really knows what she's doing. <laughs> oh, we're having a day here, Savannah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, all right. So I am trying to get that up on top there, but it's, um, I think this is like the end of the roll of the um, Eslon. So it's all curly cued. So that's what we want is a lark's head knot. And we're just gonna pull it tight like that. So I, of course, make everything look more difficult. So that's all we want. So you see that? Super simple. Susan, she still is the barrel knot queen. It's just, we had a mess up and had to deep six everything. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, I haven't lost that. And I will put my crown on later. Um, and, uh, I have closed rings for sale, Andrea. So is, is it Andrea or no, is it Andrea that I see? Yes. Yeah, I can't yeah. see with my glasses that far away. Line. We, we carry them here. So if you're looking for some, we do have them. Okay. So I am going to be just, uh, putting some beads on now. I'm going to be putting the, both strands in here. Now, if you find that you can't get them through, you can always cut these on an angle. You can, um, take your thread zapper and make almost like a little needle with it. You could glue the ends um, separately, of course, not together, uh, to create like a little bit of a, a needle. But I usually have no problems getting them in. But, you know, I'm sure, pretty sure that I'm going to have a problem today because, um, you know, it's live. And <laughs> lots of people, I know, it's just one of those days. So I've got the two, so far, I've got two of our uh, Chinese crystals on. Now this, if you bought this kit, it is yours to uh, do as you like with it. Of course, I got the one bead here that is not gonna, um, okay, this one's got a, like a little thing in it of some sort. Just have to, all right. Oh, I broke my bead. Oh, Savannah, can you grab me another um, kit? Yeah. All right, we just gotta hold on. That one had a little something in it. So what I'm gonna do is just, um, I should probably have had a pair of scissors. I need to cut this on an angle but I don't have scissors with me. So I'm just gonna cut that on an angle and that on an angle. There we go. So just that pretty, that one there. Please and thank you, because I broke it. Is it the, see through that the one. yellow one? Okay, thanks. All right, so, cause I need to get both of these through here. So sometimes it's easier if they're not exactly the same length. And if you're, um, if you're making yours and you can't uh, get it through, um, you could, you know, if really like you're just trying everything and you can only get one cord through, cause you know, sometimes like this one's just being super stubborn cause I really do need a pair of sharp scissors and I don't have them. Um, you could always, oh my gosh. Savannah, could you grab me those scissors that are right in front of me, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm having a day here. Oh, okay, so all right. Need... Just this one here. Okay. okay. So if you are having problems and you cannot get both pieces of your cording through, because I, I had no problem when I was making this uh, sample, but you know, that's what's going to happen when I'm live. You could always put one in and one around. And I'm going to do the old licky thing where I stick it in my mouth because I'm, I, I'm really getting frustrated with this right now. And I swear I had no problems getting this in when I, created this, but I'm just struggling because my eyesight is terrible at the moment. Oh, okay. So what in the heck am I going to do here? <laughs> Honestly, I never have had so many problems on a live before. So what I'm doing is just taking my, um, my thing and burnishing that down. Yeah. I'm just trying to make it like a little bit harder to get that I've turned it into a little bit of a needle. If you have a, a beading needle, you could also use that. I just didn't want to have to put one in every single kit. So that is also um, something that Savannah could run and grab me if I'm struggling still, because I think I'm going to, I'm a little bit flabbergasted here. Um, I just can't get this through Savannah. I'm, I need a, I need a needle or something. Do you know where those are? They're right, right behind me on the wall. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I got to relax for a minute and take a sip of this and read a couple comments because I am um, like not having a good day here today. 
Thank you, Marlene. I need to hear that I'm a beautiful soul. Anybody that's watching me for the first time is probably thinking, what in the heck is she doing? I swear, when I put together my um, this kit, I had no problem. And I really hope that um, nobody has problems here. Okay. Savannah's going to save the day here. And I really hope it works. Thank you. Okay. So I have a one of these large um, beading needles. It's got a large hole in there. And I'm going to try just doing one at a time because otherwise I'm going to have too many going in there. So we'll put that one through. These are a godsend if you um, ever need them. So see how that just goes right through. So, you know, sometimes you, uh, I don't know, it's weird when I, when I design things and I have like literally no problems and then um, I go to make it again and then I had struggle. But I think the good thing about that is when you guys see that I too have problems that I have to get creative, right? I have to um, try different things. So if you struggle, um, you know, you can always use like a, a large whole beading needle or something like that. There we go. Now that's finally through. Lord love a duck. Okay, all that to get that on there. Is that crazy or what? <laughs> okay, now the next ones that I'm putting on. Are you guys bored yet? Because <laughs> I don't want this to be boring for anybody. I'm struggling with everything today. Oh. Come on. Sven, if you want to answer any questions. It's just a whole bunch of people telling you you're doing great. Uh, thanks, everybody. I do appreciate everybody uh, cheering me on. You know, some of the some of the uh, presenters make this look really easy. And, you know, I don't usually struggle too much with my lives. You guys know I do lives every week with Savannah. And I don't usually struggle. But there's something about the Great Beat Extravaganza that sometimes has me um, a little bit rattled. And that's probably because it's a whole pile of new eyes on me. And... Um, I'm not sure what it is. And I am also a perfectionist and, and that can really cause me some issues. My perfectionism is not a, a, you know, it's not always a good quality to have perfectionism issues. All right. So I got, I'll show you what I've got. I'm just trying to string these dang things on here. Why don't you put both strings in the beading needle? Uh, because then you would have four strands trying to go through your, um, your bead hole at one time. So that doesn't work. Like you can't pull, you'll break your needle because it, it would put too much pressure on it. Honestly, the biggest issue is my eyesight. Um, I think my blood pressure is up because, well, it, I know it is. It was up to 167 this morning, over 84, which is very high. And um, when my blood pressure is really high, then my eyesight gets really affected by it. There we go. That goes through. Someone said on a positive side, you look great today. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had good hair day. So there we go. That's what we've got so far. All this for that. Let's see. How am I doing for time? I still have 25 minutes. Okay. Marlene just said the nicest comment. What did Marlene can say? I can't see it with these glasses. The newbies, Kelly is one of the best instructors. Stand by and don't leave. Uh, thank you, Marlene. I do appreciate that. I, I try very hard to, um, you know, uh, be a good instructor. And I get a lot of really positive comments like that. But we're human. And uh, we all have bad days. Um, and I was having a really great day. Uh, but uh, just the this stupid courting is not, it's not playing nice today. So, you know, if you have a large hole beads, uh, sorry, large hole, oh, for heaven's sakes, get in there. Um, a large hole needle like this, I would use that. Or if you really want to have less problems, take the time before you make the kit, if you did buy it, to add some glue to the end of your um, cording. And that, you know, like just turn it into a bit of a needle and that will make it even easier because I'm struggling even to get it in here because of my eyesight. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just really struggling here. I don't want to cut this too much and then I'm going to lose it completely. What in the world? This cording is just not, is not being my friend. All right. So let's try and get this in the bead and I hope I can get that through there. There's one. Oh my word. I've never had so many problems trying to just put stuff in a strand. <laughs> 
what in the world is happening to me today, everybody? So if you guys enjoyed everything today, I'm just going to keep stringing and we'll just yak about other things so I can distract myself from how, how frustrated I am. Um, did you guys love Candy this morning? Did you get a chance to watch her? Oh my gosh, I just about wet my pants laughing. She was so funny. <laughs> her little grand entrance there and, you know, oh my gosh, she cracks me up. So everybody's um, had some really good uh, shows today. I've been sort of watching as we had to do recycling and a few other things around our house today. But I try to watch on my phone when I can. So, and then we got another great lineup tomorrow of people. And of course, we have Lisa Niven Kelly, our new or our, our guest, our guest tomorrow. Okay, this is all right. Get that on there. Every time you miss, take a slurp. You're going to be really drunk. I'm going to be <laughs> hammered if I do that. <laughs> I'm going to end up with one side that is really long, and the other side. Look at this one. It does not want to go through anything. It's like one side. Look at that. It will not go through anything. It is just really um, going to get a spanking because it is being stupid. It's bugging me. So um, see this one that I used the thread zapper on is working great. Maybe I should uh, thread zap the other side here. Yeah, I'll try that. Um, so Papa is up watching Gracie right now because so, um, Savannah brought Grace and Rob's never no, never had children. And uh, so he's new to the, the grandpa game, you know, well, for the last three years or whatever. Um, but he hasn't spent a lot of time with Grace. So they're up there watching. What are they watching? Recess. Recess. It was a show that I watched as a kid. Yeah. Grace loves it. And she's probably coloring and she brought her doll. She is doll obsessed. Yeah. Like. Yeah, that's all she wants is her babies. And so, and Papa still got a, a broken leg, and he's going to see the um, the surgeon on Thursday. I get lots of uh, questions asking how he's doing. Um, you know what? You guys need to stop asking how he's doing. You need to start asking how am I doing. <laughs> <laughs> he's been home for ten weeks now, but who's counting? Um, it's been a very long haul. I don't like him anymore. I used to enjoy my husband, but I don't enjoy him anymore because he's been home for too long. So if that answers anybody's questions. <laughs> All right. So there we go. You know what? Putting that thread zap on the end really helped. So all that just to do this. Is that crazy or what? Oh, my Lord. Okay. What? <laughs> 10 weeks. Oh my God. Mine would be dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've been looking for an ice pick. I swear, you know, uh, I'm, I'm surprised that somebody hasn't shown up around here to cart me off because I've had enough. Okay. So we have our little uh, strand of beads here and now we're going to do some um, knotting, but I'm cheating. I am not going to do regular knotting because I wanted to make it super easy for you. So instead of doing fancy knotting, we're simply going to be doing uh, overhand knots, like tying your shoe knots. I know this is completely cheating, but I wanted to do something a little different. I always knot with a um, a pair of tweezers, but I wanted to do something a little different this time. And I'm pretty sure you guys are all going to appreciate it when it gets to um, this part, which I'm going to struggle to get these on now, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> I think my fingers aren't working or something. I think I've got the, I got the shakes because I'm stressed. Oh, see, I just really am struggling with this today. I hope anybody that bought a kid isn't freaking out now going, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get it to work. Because I swear when I, I made this sucker in no time flat, but um, it is really causing me grief. Oh, that did not work. That was dumb. Okay. Yeah, 10 weeks has been an awfully long time to have him home. I, um, I'm sick of him. And he's a pretty good sport, but I'm having to drive him into work a couple days a week. Um, and so, you know, it's just a lot lately. It's been an awful lot. Okay, so what I'm doing is I did, I just did two knots and then I put a, an eight knot seed bead on. And then I'm going to do another knot. Did I do two knots in between or a single knot? You know what? I'm only going to do one knot just because I'm. I'm over this. I'm over trying to uh, struggle and get this in here. So we're putting both strands through the A dot seed beads 
and uh, if they're on an angle, it does go a little bit easier. Now, did I do two? No, I just did one. So you can see how I'm sort of doing a fake, a fake knot in between. Like it's a real knot, but it's not the way that you should knot. I just wanted to keep it really simple for you guys. So just a knot in between. Now you don't want to tie these so tight. Like I'm not pulling super tight. I'm just like I'm tightening it up to make a knot. If I was to pull this really tight, it would buckle up your piece and we don't want that. So we want to um, make a knot, but we're not like reefing on it uh, for all that we're worth trying to make that. Oh my gosh, this is really getting unraveled. I can't uh, seem to get away from that today. The good thing is that we give you lots of cording in your, in your kit. So what in the heck? Melt it, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I think the best thing really would to be to cut it on a short angle or a sharp angle and put some GS Hypo on it and let it dry. And then you've got like a little beading needle on it. And that will take away all the aggravations that I have had here. Um, because when you do the um, thread zap, it does like make a little nub on the end sort of, and it can cause you problems. So you can, can you see there how I'm just doing like knots in between? It's just supposed to be a really organic kind of a thing. So I just kind of let the weight of that pull down and just do like a simple knot. Now, I think on my sample, I used seven beads. Um, you could use six, seven, eight, and I'll show you what I'm doing with that. So far, I've got this, I'm working on my fourth one. Have we got any questions or comments that I need to? Uh, nope, Melanie said, try and put the bad one through first. It'll make it easier. Yeah, I just did, but now I can't get the other one through. <laughs> <laughs> you know, today's not my friend. Uh, today is just not my friend. Some days are just easier than others. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. It just gets, it's hard when you're live and you're, and I feel this pressure to be, you know, doing this. <laughs> I want to make sure that my my lives are good. So have you guys been learning some new techniques today? Has there been anything? I did not get a chance to watch Neele and um, I really loved his project and I wanted to see what um, what he made with like sort of the chain mail thing today. Did anybody get a chance to watch him and did you really love that project? I thought it was so nicely done. So there we go. Now I'm having a little less problems because I kind of figured out how to do this. Have a come to Jesus moment with that thread. Someone said. <laughs> I need to have a come to Jesus moment with my rum and coke hair. <laughs> uh, someone asked if you can put beeswax on the thread. Um, yeah, you could. Um, it's just been really hard to find beeswax, like uh, in Canada here anyway, for me to you know buy it. We used to have, um, what was that stuff called? Thread, thread heaven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I still have more of these to do. Goodness gracious. Kayla, we are seeing your comments. I'm not sure what's going on on your end. What's... um? She said that she can't see anyone's comments. Oh, uh, you maybe... Uh, what kind of a device are you on, Kayla? Um, sometimes it depends on what what kind of device you're on. You some, Like if you're on your phone, you have to like uh, swipe left or something, I think, to see the comments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I haven't done that kind of thing. So, <laughs> a PC. Hmm. Oh, that's odd. Um, I I got nothing for you. I'm afraid. Um, I mean, you could maybe refresh, but then you would miss all of this jocularity and and fun that we're having, right? Of me trying to string beads on and you guys watching and you know complete boredom. But I'm almost to the end here of this particular uh, section, which will make me more than happy. Oh, see, that's why we give you extra beads because that one just went flying. All right. And I really hope that the next stage that I do works properly because, you know, today's just um, it is. is challenging me. I just put it out and it's all manifesting. Look it up. <laughs> 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 Savannah sent me this hilarious thing. I was having a day the other day, another day, and uh, she sent me this. What did it, what did she say? Like it, about this woman who was having a bad day, and she's gonna manifest having a good day, and then she ends it with 
It's called manifesting. Look, look it up. Look it up. <laughs> All right. So you can use seven beads. Um, you could use eight beads. You can do whatever you like. Let's see. I do have seven. So that will put us like off off center a little bit. But that's the way I did the sample because I didn't want to make this little loop too big. So all I'm going to do now is just tie a knot around this section. So I'm going to just put one on one side and one on the other and hope that I can actually show you. See, when I do things also when I'm making them, I don't have to worry about so that um, people can see. And then when I'm live, I'm like, okay, how am I going to get them to see that? So there we go. We're just doing a knot around there. And now this one I am tying tight. And then I'm going to do another knot and tie that really tight. Okay, so if you um, have, uh, if you don't have a thread zapper, I'm gonna actually use scissors because that's just kind of cutting it. If you don't have a thread zapper, what I would do is um, put some glue on this knot that you just made and then let that dry and then trim it, okay? But we're gonna use a thread zapper and this is why I love it. So thread zappers are only good on um, synthetic materials. So you can't use it like on cotton or whatever. So all you do is just turn this on and it'll get red hot. So do not touch that end. Um, you probably can't see that under the light that, there, but you'll see the smoke come out. And what it does, it kind of burns it down. And then I just sort of push it in. And that actually creates like a little nub so it won't um, pull back through the, the knot. I just can't see this very well. I wonder if it's all the bright lights that makes it so I can't see. There we go. Okay. Whew. We got that part completed. Can I get a round of applause, please, from everybody? Because um, that was a flipping miracle. <laughs> Thank you, Nanette. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you uh, like Neele. That's great. What's the best way to see all the presenters? Uh, just keep coming back either to uh, the Facebook page or to, you know, the YouTube channels. But probably the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook page is the best way to see everybody because they pin the present, um, the, the person that is live, they will pin theirs at the top. How am I doing for time? I've got 10 minutes. Oh, well, it's a good thing. I'm, I'm the last person of the day, so I'm going to run over, but I think everybody's going to be understanding because um, I'm the last one of the day and I, I had technical issues. All right, so now I'm going to take my um, my uh, leather cording and I need to bring back a couple inches, like maybe about three inches or so. Um, do I need that much? There we go. Let's just hope I can figure out what I'm doing today because um, I'm so completely bonkers now. Um, <laughs> Okay, where'd my little thing go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so if you've never seen me make a barrel knot, what I've done is I've got the longer piece on the top and the shorter one is there. And I'm putting my barrel knot tube in between and I'm gonna wrap three times towards my left hand. And then I'm going to put that through the back there. And I'm going to tighten that up. And I think, oh, I think I've made a mistake. Okay, let me undo that. I um, I just remembered how I, how I did this. I need a little bit longer. Sorry to mess this up. I just had to remember how did I do this one because this is a little different than what I normally do. Okay. All right. So I don't want to pull out three inches. So gosh, I hope nobody's making this along with me. So I'm just going to pull out a little tiny bit there. There we go. Just a, a little bit there. Apparently both Kate and Neely went over today. So Okay, good. Um, well, you know, and I'm, I'm super nervous for this part because I honestly don't even remember how I did it. And I, you know, I made this so long ago. I should have, um, I should have made another one just so that I could have um, remembered what I did. And I didn't even make any notes. I couldn't find my notes. And I, I thought I did make some, but I guess I didn't have any notes. Okay, so I've got one long end, one short end. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to trim that off. And then I would, I'm not going to because it'll get in the way, but I would take a little dab of glue and just pop it right there just to make sure that this is nice and um, tight. So I'm not going to put any on though. Uh, we don't need to have glue all over the place during my live. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so when you get to this stage, you're going to put your three two-aught beads on there. 
And then before you go any further, you're going to put on your chain. So we're gonna put some chain on and the other chain. We're, we're getting close to being done anyway. Okay, so now I need to turn this around and do a, a little bit of a trickier barrel knot. So I'm going to be creating a little loop here and I've got my barrel knot tube. Now this loop is going to end up probably, um, you know, being a little bit more difficult for people because it's uh, it's not it's not really hard. It's just different. So I got to put that in the back end and then pull it through. And you can see we don't have a lot there. And so everybody's going to end up with a different size. What I'm trying to do is see that one ended up quite large, but you know. What it is, is it just, you have to sort of just let it be the way it's going to be. Because this one's going to sort of, you want to snug it up towards these beads. And that one's probably a little longer than I would normally want. So if I was, if I was actually, you know, keeping this bracelet, I would undo this and make that a little bit smaller. But for the sake of time, I'm going to just tighten it up. Um, there we go. It's actually not too bad. There we go. Am I still on camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I would probably still make that a little bit smaller. And the way I would make it smaller is making it smaller at the beginning. So now you can leave that, you know, you could cut it there and have that hanging out. But if I was making this for myself, I would trim that off and add some glue and just make sure it's nice and snug in there. So, you know, here's what the sample looked like, just so you can see that that's really the way that I had intended on it looking was a little bit more uniform. So I'm just kind of messing with time here. Okay, so now I, this will fit about an eight inch wrist the way that it sits right now. So if you have to make this uh, to fit uh, to your wrist, this is where I would kind of um, uh, start trimming things off. So I would think the best way for you to um, make it a little bit shorter is on your chain end. So this is where you're going to want to wrap it around your wrist and sort of figure out where you're going to have to um, remove some chain. Okay, so we've given you lots of jump rings. So if you actually have a larger wrist, like I have a pretty large wrist and this barely fits me, you could um, add multiples of jump rings on the end. So what I'm going to do is open up one jump ring by twisting that open, going through the last link on both of these chains. And then I'm going to add my lobster clasp. And then I'm going to do that up. So if you had a little bit bigger wrist and this wasn't fitting, add like another couple jump rings because I think we give you like eight jump rings or something like that in case you have to make this larger. But now you've got kind of a, a unique sort of thing here. And now we're just going to place our um, charms on. So you can kind of put your charms in whichever direction you want. So they have uh, two sides to them and then we have a heart. So you just can kind of pick a, you know, an area on your chain to pop it on. So the hardest part was getting that um, darn thread through. The rest of it's really super easy. So just make sure they're opened up enough. Am I still on camera okay? Mm -hmm. All right, good. I'm not looking up very much because I'm trying to be mindful of the time. I know people have to eat and stuff like that. So, um, you know, normally I would like go to great pains to make sure that this is all even and everything was where I wanted it to be. But you guys know the drill on how to put charms on. Just kind of, you know, space them out where you want. Um, on my sample, I took very great pains to make sure that there was exactly the right amount of um, things in between. On this one, I'm gonna just kind of wing it and throw them on there so that we can move along. I think it's still gonna look fine. You know, there's no right or wrong when it comes to the placement of your charms. But um, if you wanted to, you could um, put all of them on one end and like bunch them up. You can, you can do whatever. You can change the position of them. Like you could have the heart first and, or whatever. You know, this is just what I did. And uh, when, I, when I make my kits, I never say, well, you know, this is exactly what you should be doing. I just, sometimes I will say, well, if you want it to look exactly like mine, this is how I did it. Oh my goodness, we did it people. I did it. It's a miracle. So there we go. So now when you do it up, you have your ring at the end and then you have, so you've got like three different transitions here. You've got chain, 
to um, your leather cording and then to your other cording with some knots. So I will bring back my sample, which looks a little, little bit better. Um, it's kind of been broken in a little bit. And there we go. Is that not the cutest thing though? I just love that piece. And I do apologize for all the, the problems we've had today with making this dang thing. All right, if you want to switch me back up, we have a few more minutes and then uh, we can, uh, whew, yeah, deep breath. <laughs> you guys can see me drinking this. <laughs> oh, you like the bracelet I'm wearing? Uh, I was going to do that for the, um, oh, you guys can't see it now because my hand's not down there. Um, I was going to do it for my thing today and then I couldn't get enough of what I needed. So I will do it another, uh, maybe the next GB. Another so, person also said that you should make that necklace into a kit. Um, I would, but this, this actually uses, um, like this kit would be about $150. Don't do that. Maybe even more because it uses so many pearls. Like look at all the pearls on that. It used to be a class in my store and it's all barrel knots. Oh, I need my crown. I have to put my crown on. <laughs> there you go. People were wanting to see my barrel knot crown. Oh, I can't, now it's crooked, but you know, I'm kind of crooked today. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This was a wild one. I have never, I broke a bead. I couldn't get my thread through. We had, um, we had sound issues. I had to start again. Hey, but you know what? It all worked and I get to finish my rum, my rum and Coke and everything's going to be great. <laughs> Did I handle it with grace, Susan? I don't know. I think I was pretty darn rattled. <laughs> anyway, should we do one more draw? Because I'm kind of feeling like you guys have stuck around. Um, so maybe Savannah can set uh, up another one. Yeah, just give me a minute. Are those large hole pearls? Uh, on my necklace, yes, those are large hole pearls, and those are that's 1.5 millimeter leather. And I just did little clusters. I don't know if you can see that. Just little clusters of. Um, yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> I got I got to come up with something with this because I made this years ago. I love it. <laughs> we laughed, we cried, we invented a drinking game. <laughs> All right, well, hang around, hang around for a couple more minutes because uh, we're going to pull another, uh, we're going to do another uh, draw and the code we we'll just do the same one because <laughs> it's all set up. So type in GBE. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Don't, don't do yet. Don't do yet because she's got to be ready and it's because it, I'm trying. she's trying. <laughs> hang on. Don't type it in yet because it won't, and then it won't count. <laughs> Oh my goodness. She's trying hard. Okay. All right. I think she'll get, Oh, don't type it in yet. Cause you're, it won't go, it won't, it won't work yet until she gets it um, set up behind the scenes. Sorry. I just threw this um, on Savannah. Cause you know, I'm, I'm trying to make it so that she's okay. as flustered as I am. Let's hang tight guys. There we, there we go. You got to press that button though. Cause I it's still, know, know. okay. Okay. And okay. Now you can go. And now you can go. So type GBE. And uh, we'll give it a couple minutes while I blather on here. And um, so just GBE, just like it says on the screen. And we'll do another draw for a, um, a um, gift card. So don't forget, we've got 20% off on the web store. You just go to kellysbeeboutique.com and you can save 20% by using the code GBE Spring. Uh, it does say it up in the banner on the web store. So if you don't know what it was, just look on the web. It will say it on there what um, what that code is. And that is good until Monday night. So I'm the last one for the day today. Uh, so you can now relax and, and maybe um, have a beverage, uh, do whatever you're going to do. Decompress uh, from this episode. De <laughs> decompress a bit because this was a bit frenetic. And um, yeah. And so, and then tomorrow morning, uh, Abby will be, I think Abby's still up first in the morning and uh, she's got a really, really cool pair of earrings that she's going to be doing tomorrow. She's going to be doing some hammering and I think she looks like she's going to add some patina, things like that. So um, yeah, so it'll be lots of fun. So we all appreciate you guys hanging around with us and supporting our um, small businesses. Without you, we wouldn't have roofs over our head because you know, there's that starving artist thing. That's literally all of us. So we all really, really appreciate all the uh, orders that you send through and all the support that you give us by showing up and uh, participating in our lives and, um, and just uh, hanging out with the crazy people that make all kinds of mistakes while they're live. <laughs> so, all right. How many do we have in there? 113. 113. All right. So we'll give it another. You can only type it in once, Marlene. So only once. It won't go in 10 times. So. <laughs>
<laughs> it's just, it's, it's an intuitive thing. It knows if you've already typed it in. So <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we all need everybody. Don't we Marlene? It's, it's kind of that symbiotic relationship. You know, I, um, I really enjoy what I do. I love being able to uh, teach people what I know how to do. And I, I don't know if I'm, uh, you know, a master at any, anything, but I do think I have some pretty darn good ideas. So I love to share them with everybody and it's all free content. So can't really um, ask for much more than that, right? So, all right, I think we're going to press the button and uh, see who wins this one. I love doing this part. We're doing lots of giveaways today. Everybody's um, getting lots of chances to win. Cyber training, Judy B. All right, Judy B. Well, thank you for playing along today. Uh, make sure to drop me um, an email at customer service at kellysbeadboutique.com and I will tell you how to uh, redeem your um, gift certificate. So thanks everybody for joining us today. Uh, look at that. I, I got, we had, had everything messed up today and I still managed to um, finish almost on time here. So <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh, it's a good day. I'm tired now. How about you guys? Are we tired? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, I appreciate your patience while we tried to figure out all the technical things. So make sure that you uh, jump back on in the morning and watch um, Abby and her sweetheart um, as they do some fun stuff because they always have a good show. And again, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. And um, we will see you uh, next Wednesday. Savannah and I will be back doing our live. So if you don't always join us, uh, come back at one o'clock on Wednesday. Oh, some. Can just, you give your email again for Judy? Uh, Judy, it will. It's uh, uh, customer service at kellysbeadboutique.com. So make sure you spell Kelly with an I E. So yeah, that's the easiest one to get to because then we all we all will see that, and somebody will make sure that you get your. Um, your gift certificate. Is it on the website too? Um, I mean, that, yeah, you can go to the website and you can go to the contact us page and just send an email. It doesn't go to customer service. It'll just come to me. So just get hold of me somehow because if you're not already a customer, I don't have any way of getting in touch with you. So, all right, you guys go off and have yourself a great night. Uh, do some creative uh, jewelry making if you still have some brain cells left. <laughs> Make sure to watch everybody tomorrow. So we will see you guys soon. All right. So take care and thanks again. Bye now. Bye.